Hey guys, so uh, just doing a quick video here. Um, this is in response. There was a question from one of my uh, subscribers. I think it is uh, Sour OG Apple. Um, that's the username that I got here. Basically, they are saying that uh, they wanted to try the hybrid um, ROM and on their Note i717, just like mine. They have it rooted. They installed Clockwork Recovery and they've backed everything up but uh are unsure after what to like what to do after that's backed up um i'm not gonna actually gonna install a rom but what i'm gonna do is go through the motions and basically you'll be doing the same thing so you've backed everything up and um i just wanna i'm gonna go through my file explorer right here and go to my i have a folder on my external sd card and i have it under roms right here so i have the collective base uh, the one i'm using now i just did a video ucle2 zip that's the one i installed this morning i have the unofficial i have the cell rom which is gingerbread that i've that's that's rock solid noteworthy etc etc and then beats audio so basically now that i know where this is in my uh folders on my external what i do is uh get into clockwork recovery uh, if it doesn't have it on your toggles um, here it says reboot but if you don't do that what I do is you hold basically you hold your power button volume up and down all at the same time so I'll do that right now hold it all at the same time the screen will eventually click off and then you'll feel a vibration so the screen went off I felt the vibration just now I let go of the power button, it vibrates again, and I keep holding the volume up and down, down, uh, down. and I keep holding it until Clockwork Recovery comes up, which will be in a couple seconds, there it is. Okay, so most ROMs, you unless it's a, a build or an update from a previous one that you have installed, most of them, you want, they want you to do a, a fresh uh, wipe. So, I just want to see if this will focus so basically you want to go to wipe factory data right you click that and then you tell use your up and down uh, volume to toggle up and down to yes delete all used data and then you would push the power button and that will execute that uh, procedure so I'm gonna go back so after it does the uh, wipe cache uh, wipe the after it does the wipe data factory reset then you go down to advance i'm hoping this is coming out it doesn't look like it on my screen but you go all the way down to advance push power and then you go down to uh the second one down it says wipe the uh, dalvik cache and then you push power oh see i shouldn't have done oh yeah and then it says, then you scroll down, up and down, use your rocker volume, you know, rocker to go down to yes, wipe, Dalvik cache, and then you would push your power to execute that. So I'm gonna go back. So after it's done all that, now that means everything is formatted, everything is cleared out. For, so basically there's nothing, your phone is totally clean. So then you would go back to, uh, let me go back to the beginning. Then you go back to the, the beginning here and go install zip from SD card. So once again, to toggle up and down, you use your volume rocker and then to select, push the power. So I push that. And then here, choose zip from SD card. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now it pulls up my SD card. So as I showed before from my file explorer, I have that folder called ROMs which is right here I select that and basically you pick the ROM so there's your so ROM this is the collective base uh, UCLE2 zip and basically you select that and away it goes actually you select that and I think yeah it goes to one more and you scroll up click install and you push power and it will start to install that brand new ROM so basically that's it you let it go uh, wait a couple minutes until at the bottom it says installation complete and then you just reboot your phone 
Uh, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. Yeah, reboot, reboot system now. So I'm just going to go back. It's going to reboot back into uh, my uh, the ROM that I'm running. But basically, after you've backed everything up, doing your um, an Android, that's what you do. Uh, that's the very same procedure. And uh, after that, you will get this sort of animation, or I think it was the hybrid that you wanted to install. So you'd get their animation, whatever it is, and uh, just let it let it sit for about probably five minutes. After you get to the screen, just leave your phone alone because. Uh, the last couple ROMs, it gets here, and then it'll sit there and hang for a little bit, and um, it'll start installing the the ROM, uh, not the ROM, but the the apps uh, when it's done. So then after that, um, you'll get your your stock user interface, whatever that uh, ROM, that hybrid ROM comes with. I can't remember actually. I don't think I, I used that. I think I might have used that, but didn't like it. Um, if you're a Canadian user, tell us, Bell. I'm on Rogers. Um, this one that I installed this morning is great because my native caller ID works. Uh, all of the other ones did not work for me. So just, uh, just giving you a heads up. So let me go back here, go to my file explorer. External SD, I'll go down to ROMs. So once again, that ROM that I'm using currently now that I just did a video for today is the uh, Collective Base and UCLE2 Zip. That's the one that I'm running now. That's the one, the ICS ROM, where the caller, the native caller ID does work with Rogers. Um, noteworthy, noteworthy, I loved it. It was a lot of nice tweaks for that. But no caller ID, saw ROM. Um, that's a gingerbread, gingerbread uh, ROM, and it was based off the Rogers uh, kernel or something like that. But that one works, no problems. Everything works with that, with that one, uh, the saw ROM. The unofficial beta two, uh, actually the unofficial version two, beta four, great zip, uh, great ROM. I like that one too. But between these two now, this is my daily driver the UCL E2 because just for that uh, color ID alright so uh, hopefully that helps and uh, have a great day